So it's Saturday, it's like one o'clock. I'm doing a whole bunch of Facebook Marketplace uh, finds. Apparently, if you put a listing as complete, you lose the fucking message. Luckily, I was messaging the same guy. So I got like four or five things to pick up this weekend. I e-transferred something, so that'll update later on. But for right now, I'm going to London to pick up a chest for my buddy, Juicy, Justin. And uh, yeah, so I gotta go. Talk to you all soon. Number one acquired, some sort of chest for uh, my buddy Justin's girl. And uh, I went to the wrong side. I was supposed to go to East Commissioner Road. I was on West. I was in front of a fucking laundromat waiting. So I got it though. So let's rock and roll to now my Funko Pops, my Facebook Marketplace. Now the actual video is true. But I'm just starting in London, going to Milton. Going to Milton again. Maybe Brampton, maybe Thornhill. I don't know. Long day. Talk to y'all soon. I picked up the first set for me. Uh, I believe it is five Funko Pops. Not a hundred percent sure. I am looking at the bag, but I'm gonna go pick up a couple action figure, uh, a couple wrestling action figures now. There's also a Walmart. The next person I don't have to meet till after seven, huh? A lot of people selling toys are uh, a weird bunch, but I attract weird. I'm like a. Uh, a moth to a flame of weird to uh, to me. So, talk to you soon. Two more things acquired. People that sell wrestling toys are so weird. This dude was like a 13 year old. I don't even know. But I'm gonna go to Walmart. I'm gonna go get gas. I don't know if I'm meeting up with someone tonight. I'm definitely meeting up with one or two people tomorrow. So, the journey's not done, maybe. I'm gonna hop into Toys R Us. My buddies in the group chat, Steve Brown was posting about Toys R Us and uh, I went to Walmart, I got Resistance fans and uh, also I'm really into the Hamilton musical. That's my buddy's chest. Uh, so at Walmart I picked up the the ultimate guide to the Hamilton, to Hamilton. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the vinyl and the book and the book that Luis, fuck. Luis Manuel, uh, totally forgot his name, fuck, uh, but the book he read to inspire him, so. Mask on. Time to go toy hunting. It's about 8 a.m. It's Sunday, July 12th now, I believe. Yes. And, uh, hmm. I gotta go pick up the rest of my haul, so there is one more thing that I won't be getting for a few weeks, but I got a bunch of stuff I'm getting now. Spent like $300 on what I'm picking up today. It'll be a fun one. Talk to you all soon. So pick up one of the day. Went tremendous. Uh, the dude's name is Jerry. He opened up a Facebook page called Jerry and Dave's, I believe. Uh, toys and collectibles. They have all the random pops, and that's my shit. I like the random stuff. I don't care about what will be valuable. I don't care about mainstream stuff. I care about weird random shit. And funnily enough, he's a wrestling fan, so I'm definitely gonna hook him up with tickets when wrestling comes back. But that was a great relationship, and fuck, I'm probably gonna be messaging him at least like once a, once a month to uh, get some shit. So, great. Talk to you soon. Pick up number two for the day. Can't see it yet. Gotta drop off this chest to my buddy Justin and then go to a massive toy collection. But I'll talk to you all soon. So it is 3.21 p.m. I am heading home finally. I just visited a dude named Chandler's Pops located in Brampton. Has so many fucking pops. I grabbed 11. So, a couple of them aren't for me though, so I'm gonna make some money back. But, talk to y'all soon. Facebook Marketplace video, the haul is coming next. Hey, welcome back. It's been a couple days, so uh, let me show you the haul. So, uh, first up, I have a bag and a box. 
Yeah, I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> I was very tired on Friday night. Well, I got sleep. Pardon me. Hi, Spades. So, I wasn't too tired, but I, uh, I started going on Facebook. Spades. I got on Facebook Marketplace and I just started looking up different toys and uh, collectibles and uh, ended up with a bag and a box of stuff. So once again, not everything's for me. So I'll put aside at the end of the video what's mine and what's not mine. Sadly, I only think like four aren't mine. But first off, I went to Milton where I met up with a guy named, uh, I'm not going to name his name, but uh, a little bit of a strange guy. I dropped by his house to uh, pick up these pops and... Uh, just wanted to talk to me for a while, and then kept messaging me, to which I replied, please do not contact me going forward. But, I picked up a loose TARDIS Funko Pop. What's cool is uh, the door opens and closes. And then I picked up uh, Daggert and Norbert from, from the Angry Beavers, and... Uh, the Dagger box is pretty alright, uh, it's a little dinged up, uh, but to be honest, some of my collection's loose. Hi, Spades. And, uh, the, uh, Norbert is a lot more beat up, and, uh, he didn't, uh, disclose these facts to me before I e-transferred him, so, uh, I learned my Facebook Marketplace, don't e-transfer or give money before you see the product, and I'm pretty sure I could've got both of these cheaper from Chandler, which is my last haul in the biggest part. So... And then I also got Arnold Shortman from Hey Arnold. And lastly, Yakko from the Animaniacs, which, coming up later on, you'll see that there are more to these than meets the eye, but that's for later on. I then met up with a man named Theo. The 13 year old. I'm pretty sure I was talking to his dad, and his dad works at a dentistry clinic, and he came out. But it may have been him, may have been the 13 year old. Where I, I made a joke on Twitter back in December, I'll find the tweets here, with uh, Von Vertigo, and I mentioned, uh, he mentioned Deuce and Domino, and I was like, oh, I want to get their three pack because I listened to the Major Wrestling Figure podcast, and uh, I ended up getting the Treacherous Trios. Deuce, Cherry, and Domino, which is cool because Cherry has her uh, roller skates on this. And uh, the three packs would have also been Triple H, Cena, Randy Orton, and then Edge with the ed Edge heads, coincidentally enough. But uh, yeah, this is cool. It's a little dusty. The card's a little banged up, but it's still mock, and uh, I'm going to put it up on my wall. It's a nice little fun... fun. Um... And then I also got an Elite... I don't know the series, but um, an elite big boss man that he does have all of his accessories, it appears, but it has clearly been opened already, and I think the uh, the display may have been taken out, because also in this was uh, Tatanka, AJ Styles, Cesaro, Kevin Owens, and Asuka, and you can create a uh, diorama of the Raw stage. But this is peak Attitude Era Big Boss Man. We're talking Corporation Boss Man. And uh, I'm actually going to display him loose because he has all the accessories. And I believe that if the accessories fit on the figure, I can display it loose. So uh, I'm going to, as the Major Brothers would say, let him breathe. Oh, there's the tape. There's the tape. Oh shit, never mind. The diorama is still in here. The box is just a little banged up. Weirdly enough, I think I'm going to keep the uh, the back carding. I used to do that when I was a kid too. Not entirely sure why. Uh, I've not actually opened an Elite. This might be the first wrestling figure I've opened up in years. I'm looking at all the toys I bought recently are all closed. I have a loose D Malenko, but I bought a brand new one. Someone bought the loose one and I traded him for it. Uh, how the 
Oh, you slide out the side. I, I don't know how action figures work. I'm sorry. So, uh, the diorama, which I believe... How the fuck? Oh, okay. That's there. Okay, I figured out the stand. Now, uh... Oh, there's a little zip tie over the, uh... Oh, that's cool. The handcuffs are rubber. I thought it was going to be, like, hard plastic. So, uh, the mask is, uh, rubber. Sweet. Oh, he's holding Snip this. Oh, is that Pretty sure I time. Oh, this is, this is such an awesome fucking figure. Uh, actually, going to the Maritimes, we had to unbox some figures so that it would fit in the vehicle. Uh, the Billy Club's a little bent, so uh, I think, like, hot water might solve that. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. The vest, it's a, uh, the vest is some sort of light rubber, uh. Arm joints, okay, they just need to be loosened up a bit, much like me not wrestling for a few months. Just need to loosen up a bit. Uh, I can do the splits, though. Uh, homeboy can't do the splits, but uh, let me put the accessories on. Okay, never mind. This isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. But, uh... The hood's on, the uh, Cobra Commander hood. And try to shut the sunglasses. Do it. So it looks like he's in full incognito mode, doesn't know who he is. And so I don't lose the glasses. So I put him on and hand like, oh, yeah, it's my full hood. Put the mixtape in one hand. Ooh, the hand's really sitting in the middle. Uh, hand goes there. Hand goes the other hand. Yeah, big boss hand. Does he feel on this way? I'll put him. Oh, yeah. Cool. Big boss man and, uh, Treacherous Trios. I believe I bought both of these for 90 so 30 and 60 Uh, it was supposed to be 75 and 45 so I got a little bit of a discount. Bossman and Treacherous Trios. Deuce Domino and Cherry. So I put these to the side now. And that was my adventure in Milton and, um, in Milton and Day 1. Now Day 2. Day 2 starts off Full wrestling mode. It's only Funko Pops. And I'll explain the reasoning for them in like my collection video later on. But first up, Becky Lynch, Amazon exclusive, The Man Edition. Vince McMahon, the regular Mr. McMahon Edition. Chris Jericho with The List. Cody Rhodes. Oh, I'm sorry. The American Nightmare, Cody, New Japan. Ric Flair, the red version, which on the back of this, I just see the uh, the invisible John Cena, which I'm pretty sure I want to get. And uh, and seeing the Charlotte next to the Ric, fuck, I think I want that. I think I want to put them both side by side. But there is also a WWE 2K exclusive of Ric Flair in the 70s with the world title, big fluffy hair, and a suit that's... Just beautiful. I know Ryan Knight has it, so. And then I also got The Fiend, which a bunch of people are looking for. It's it's a cool figure. Uh, I like the detail on the mask. And then I also got the regular Hot Topic exclusive Young Bucks. I'm kind of interested in the splatter one. But, also, a Lucy. Look, there's too many pops above my head right now. Daniel Bryan. It's cute. Oh, shit. It's cute. I got a bit of a discount on him. And uh, once again, thank you, Jerry. I'll have the link to his Facebook store in the description below. But I don't want to collect every wrestler, but the ones that, like, mean something to me or I think are cool, it's the little things I want to get, though, for, uh, for that reason. Like, the Young Bucks and Cody, they changed pro wrestling, so that's cool. The Fiend is a cool figure. Bray Wyatt's awesome. Ric Flair's awesome. The man Becky Lynch, once again, changed wrestling with a new women's revolution. Daniel Bryan is an old figure that I can't really find anywhere, and I got a discount on it, so... Move him over there so my head's still here. 
Mr. McMahon, Mr. McMahon is pro wrestling, whether you like it or not. I did want to get the old 80s Chase guy. I'm not a Vince McMahon guy, but, like, also, I have coming eventually the uh, Triple H with the skull mask on. So he's on the back of the Mr. McMahon box. And also, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho's a fucking goat. He's a top five wrestler of all time, constantly re reinventing himself. So definitely need to include him in my collection. I didn't realize just how Jack Cody looks in his, uh, in his display art, though. He is ridiculously ripped in that photo. I don't know if he meant it as a joke. I went to, uh, King Street, and I picked up, uh, funnily enough, when I messaged, uh, the first guy I picked up, Pots from Milton, he showed me his collection, which I love seeing people's collection, mostly because my collection isn't properly displayed, so I love seeing other people's. But I saw that he had a Tom and Jerry uh, Funko Pops, and I was just like, whoa, I didn't know they make that. I don't know about a lot of things. I just see it, I like it, I buy it. Um, Ariana Grande song. But then I bought these, I was like, oh, cool. And then, because one of my coworkers, he's a 32-year-old uh, Kenyan dude that's in here, uh, in Canada for schooling, and he even told me, he's like, sometimes when I'm bored, I'll just put on Tom and Jerry cartoons because it brings him joy, and that's hilarious to hear, so... I'm actually selling these to him, so it's very much a break-even on profit and loss, so... Tom and Jerry, cool little, uh, two-pack. Well, not two-pack, cool little two-pops. And lastly, Chandler's Pops. So this dude has a room full, and he's just selling Pops. Ceiling to floor of just, like, stacks on stacks. Some grails. I saw some shit. I'm like, well, I'm not going to EB Games or uh, Toys R Us to buy Funko Pops anymore. I'm just going to go... Go down Brampton, go down the street from my house, and just go visit Chandler and be like, hey, what you got? Which is a very bad thing, because he has some nice shit, has some cool uh, Funko Pop protectors, so, uh... It's only down from here. But... I picked up a robot devil from the Futurama. From the Futurama. From Futurama. I picked up Spyro and Sparks, and I'll... I'll try to grab it with the next one, but I have a weird thing for Funko Pops that come with smaller Funko Pops. And, uh, yeah, Spyro, which I have another Spyro here. And I have a Crash Bandicoot also, Crash it doing the spinning motion. But with Spyro, I have one where if you put him on the display, it's translucent and it looks like he's flying, which I think is cool, but I might see if my friends, one of them wants one of the Spyros, because I'm not a big fan of collecting multiples of uh, the same thing. Um, uh, Agent J.M. Frank, once again, the, uh, tiny Funko Pop, so I'm kind of, uh, Agent K comes with Nebel, <clears throat> and Edgar, which was, like, the dude that had all the maggots in him and stuff, uh, hmm, might be, uh, interested in getting that. Uh, and then we have, uh, Pinocchio, that, uh, has a Jiminy Cricket on his nose. See, the thing about these is, like, on the back that you can see, like, it showed Jiminy Cricket. I have an Aladdin with a mini Babu, uh, Abu, and it's like, it makes sense because they're smaller versions where it's, you get them side by side and it's giant, it just seems a little weird to me. Uh, so, apparently, there's, uh, Peeps Funko Pops, uh, they have yellow, blue, Chandler of course had all of them. My cat's falling asleep, I guess I'm just gonna let him stay on the table then. Until I have to do, like, the full haul, which is right after this. But what's awesome, though, and I opened it up to check. This one was the cheapest. It was, like, 11 bucks or 9 bucks, and the rest were 12 17 or, uh, or like, 17 and 21 But uh, what's awesome is if you actually have it in a peep, it has this weird texture to the marshmallow. And uh, this actually, you can kind of see it on there. It actually has that weird texture, with, which I think is hilarious and awesome. Felix the Cat, I don't really have, like, great fond moments of Felix, but, like, I just remember I watched that cartoon as a kid, and entertaining since 1919. It's like, I, I remember watching it and on a VHS tape, so it was just super old. But, uh, I'm just looking at my cat. He's just taking up all this real estate in the, in the thing. Uh, Red Wing Robin, which was a Hot Topic exclusive, which, uh, my friend Gabriel Fuerza was interested in, so this will be going to him. George Jefferson. 
Okay, fun story about that. I don't really care about the Jeffersons, but I always joke about uh, Anthony Kingdom James has a George Jefferson haircut when he grows it out, so uh, this might be a surprise gift for him, and if he sees this video first, surprise! Also picked up Space Jam variation of, uh, of Taz. Looking at this, they have uh, M3, Blue Monster, Smack Hammer, Marvin the Martian, Taz and Bugs in this. Not gonna lie, I might have to get uh, Lola Rabbit if she has a version of this. <sighs> also, completing, uh, adding to my Crash Bandicoot collection, because I have Coco and Crash, I now have Aku Aku. Let's see if my head's still in frame. Uh, yeah, so then, lastly, to add to my, uh, my head is just floating in the middle of this, it's kind of funny. To add to, uh, my Animaniacs Collect Them All collection, brrr, do you think I got Dot or Waco? Brrr, I got Dot. Once again, between Jerry and Chandler, I could have got better deals on, uh, the dot wacko and stuff, so um, I'm gonna kick myself. Do I? Do I really need the other two peeps? No, but the fact that there's all these ad icon uh, Funko Pops, I'm very tempted into getting them. But um, yeah, that is uh, the whole haul. So let me put display it all on the table. Do -do -do -do. Sorry, cat. You gotta move. The cat's name is Spades. I do refer to him as Cat. My father just refers to me as boy sometimes. So that's the haul. So hopefully at this point now there is a podcast every Monday, a short video for social media of me promoting what's coming up that week, and then two videos. Some sort of a toy unboxing, show collection, story, whatever. Join my Patreon, just follow me on stuff. Brendan Caulfield, Holden Albright. At Brendan C, at Holden Pro on things. Thank you for watching this. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, have a good night. Just have fun. Stay safe and sane, everybody. Love you all. Thank you. Now, now I gotta apologize to my cat about moving him. Sorry, Spades! Thank you! It is like... August 13th, I believe, and I finally picked up the last purchase. I mentioned it a couple times. Uh, I picked up brr, another foam. The Rock. Backside says The Rock. It's a little banged up, but I got not one, but two. And uh, funny story about them. It's uh, Julian. Ethan Page was selling them and I didn't even realize when I answered the Facebook Marketplace ad. But, bought them from him, waited because he's in Hamilton, and picked them up with Kobe Durris a few weeks ago, and then left them in his car and didn't get them till this weekend. But, finally got them. Giveaway imminent. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.